thank you very much for having Why don't you get right in? Hi, good to see you. Wonderful. Peter, you're turned the wrong way. Rather than, I'm sorry. No, get right in here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Thank you. My sister Terry Simon. Yeah, thank you so much thank you. for inviting us. Well, pleased to have you. Oh, no. right. My sister Terry nice Simon. She's good. Wait a minute. They're all. He's going to go and get okay. a picture. Okay, oh. fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shall I move over here? Hi. How are you? Sorry, you know. Good to see you. You look great. Well, you feel great. Fantastic. So you do it. Am I your lucky? You Char. are without a doubt. <laughs> every one because you were there. Boy, what? that was exciting. This game. Oh, thank you. She'll be out. She's out with the wire, so she'll be in. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you later. Okay. Rolling side. Tommy, yes. thanks so much for having me. Yeah. It's a way to top off the stories with you. And it was your home. Well, it was. It was. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, absolutely. It was at our home. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, hi. Congratulations. Hi, how are you? I'm so. Saw you when you up close. You didn't think it was too. No, it was fine. It was perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Vin, hey, hi, how are you? I'm glad to see you. I was going to send these to you, but as long as you're here. Oh my goodness, how great. The old neighborhood. Yes. Thank you so much. We won't know the house, you know. Well, it's all finished. We brought you a present, but we leave it to you until we get out of here. Yes. 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 He kept, he kept saying, "Did I see you out there?" And I said, "No, I didn't." I saw it, but yeah. Thank you so much. You're used to saying things around. This is a world championship T-shirt. No. Oh, how great! I know you can get all you want. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you did a good yeah. job on announcing that company. But yeah. I knew where your heart was. Uh, <laughs> I knew where your heart was. I knew that you were pulling for us to take the whole thing. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> yes. But when in Rome. That's right. Because that is your team, the Dodgers, from way back with you and Andrew. That's right. That's right. Well, we're both going out and. But how about that game back. that night? You brought us so much luck that game. That was fantastic. I, I couldn't mean, believe that game. game. All I wanted the next day was to hear Benny describe that home run. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you must have seen yourself on television when that home run was hit. No, I never did see it. Did you ever see You came out of that dugout just like this. <laughs> <laughs> what a win. He talked about picking something. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> Pete never left the ground. Boy, you were really <laughs> That's when we would love to win. It was a good win. Great. It was a good really win. You don't think my 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 pitch was too hard for for no. the, so the he, other. he had the yeah. sponge in his so glove. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I, I worried a little bit. I wish you'd have seen her frozen with fear. <laughs> Yeah, I made her throw a few to me up in the West Hole. <laughs> Chandelier. <laughs> I was over. I kept saying, I'm going to break the dead center. Please don't make me do that. Socia came back to the dugout and said, I hope Belcher has your kind of stuff. <laughs> Listen, I think I think we're all going to have you've got your thirty-four fellows out there, they're coming through, and then you will we'll all be assembled over there for a group picture. You're gonna meet the dream team. You the bet. team of <laughs> destiny. <laughs> They captured the hearts of America. They did. They did. They did. They did. <laughs> really, truly did. So God had his hand on our ball gloves. So as injured the wreck as we were. Just be patient over there and fix in that vicinity. Boy, you did. Look at personal comments. Hello there. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Chris. See you. Okay. Uh -huh.
Certainly, if they do a story of my life on the screen, I'm too old to play. <laughs> Well, it's a it's a great pleasure. <laughs> favorites, but I must confess that after the World Series began, I just knew 
the winner was going to be a team from California. <laughs> And I couldn't help but recognize the lady who your just say no campaign has awakened a nation to the dangers of illicit drug use, and I'm glad to have you on my team. <laughs> Let's remember that before this season started, few baseball writers exceeded the Oakland Athletics in five games. I guess it just never occurred to uh, to this bunch that someone else was supposed to win. But you did it, and you did it with guts and determination. Or award for both the league championship and World Series in the same year. <laughs> I spent a few years during the World Series, and there were plenty of others who contributed too. Rookie pitcher Tim Belch get, ought to get a raise for all the week he did in, or work he did in nursing injured players. Well, it was quite a dream season for the Dodgers, and I hope for each time you get to be my age, everything reminds you of the story. <laughs> well, this one's about a minister who walked. Well, Reverend, the player said, Sunday's our biggest day. We have the best crowds, make the most money, and after all, Sunday is your biggest day too, isn't it? <laughs> Well, the minister nodded his understanding and then added, but there's a little difference. I'm in the right field. And the player said, so am I, and the sun's horrible out there. <laughs> well, the sun really shined. I wanted us here to visit with you. And all I can say is that the first lady threw out the first ball of the World Series, and we won that game in the most dramatic way I've ever seen a ball game when a, in a World Series won. So when you are finished with your job here, we would like for her to come out and throw the first ball out of Dodger Stadium and, of course, bring you along with her. Transition begun. <laughs> Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, all the Soviets release all their political prisoners. They suggested that they may release the ball in 10 weeks. I'm hoping that's true and will happen. Have you heard anything about it? No, just that, just what you said. What do you think about it? They said they were going to do it. and you are being promoted to Brigadier General. <laughs> <laughs> that the stars you're going to use are those from your father's uniform. Yes, sir. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. And I think you see that everybody approves. <laughs> <laughs> now, as I understand it, we're going to a telephone. That's correct. Which you and I are going to tell your father. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what the call's about, either. Hi, sir. Well, I'm a little speechless, I guess. <laughs> That's probably down on Jim's off. Well, it's a great pleasure to do this, and it's a pleasure to have him here with us. Yep. Well, we all are too, and yes, it is kind of busy, and we're working on it, but uh, I thought that. Uh, this was an occasion that uh, not even a campaign should interrupt. <laughs> uh, 
I shall. All right. Good night, Dad. I love you. Bye-bye. Well, what Yes. Well, I appreciate that more than you could ever imagine. And I um, echo my father and that uh, the warmth and the kindness that you've shown today will last for us forever. It's been a tremendous honor. Well, you're deserving of it. And I'm very proud and pleased that it could happen while you're here on this particular post. It's <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much for doing this. We really appreciate it. Uh, Mr. President, can we just set up one picture with the family? Yeah, good. I think you should be in between. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, you can Thank you, Mr. President. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> Sir, Mr. Dawson is uh, a <laughs> hammer. Got to busy doing other things. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm on my way to San Diego tomorrow. I know you are. Yeah, well, right. Right. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Enjoy your trip. Imagine what this means to a fellow that was a second lieutenant in the cavalry reserve. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Hi, Zandy. Hi. Thanks for doing your part. I think we really Which surprised I understood it. was quite a bit. Well, so, it was actually useful. Him back. It was actually useful. <laughs> I don't think I have to tell anybody that, that this day reflects nothing on me as a person, absolutely nothing. I am here uh, on this list first and foremost because the good Lord has been with me all my life and has seen fit to put me with and under and over the greatest people in the world. Uh, obviously. The young Marine enlisted man who uh, literally saved my life on a couple of occasions in Vietnam, those kids who are willing to go up the hill just because you ask them to. Uh, without them, n none of the Marine officers or any officer would be worth a dawn. The people I've served for, and I'm gonna, I've served with a lot of people in this room, but I'm going to address particularly the civilians because I've always known in my military career that I could count on Marines and that they're the hardest working, uh, toughest, best performers that have, I'd ever run into. And all of a sudden I met and started to work for civilians. And I, I got to tell you, for those of you who think that uh, the Marine Corps or any service member has the market on hard work, professionalism, brains, and dogged determination, they're wrong. And so. Uh, uh, my tip my hat to learning something every day to my family who literally I could do nothing I would never have reached where I am now if it weren't for my wife Sandy who has moved 21 times in 25 years has uh, picked and shined my dirty boots cleaned my weapon etc <laughs> My son Todd and David's not here, but Todd, who uh, I'm as proud of as anybody I could ever be. Uh, and I'd like to make mention of one person, my dearest friend, who I am so happy is here, Colonel Tom Drowdy, who is, uh, if I am anything, it's because he's been pushing me the whole way. And so thank you so much. I really am flabbergasted. By <laughs> some champagne. <laughs>